was it 2020 question number eight elective mass the vectors p q and r are mutually perpendicular with the magnitude of q to be equal to three and the magnitude of r to be square root of 5.4 now if the vectors x is equal to 3p plus 5q plus 7r and the vector y is equal to 2 times the vector p plus 3 times the vector q minus 5 times the vector r are perpendicular we should find the magnitude of p now we are being told that the vectors p q and r are mutually perpendicular now if these three vectors are mutually perpendicular it means that that is so since p vector p vector q and vector r are mutually perpendicular now this means that p dot q is equal to zero p dot r is equal to zero and q dot r is equal to zero and then we also told that the vectors x and y are perpendicular and because x and y are perpendicular what can we see x dot vector y is equal to zero now here we'll be using the dot product so i want us to consider a review of the properties of the dot product so let's consider the properties of the dot product now the first property if you have vector a dot vector a this is the same as the magnitude of a square now the second one if you have a dot b is the same as b dot a so we say that the dot product is commutative now let's see let's consider the distributive property so if you have b plus c and this is equal to a dot b plus a dot c that is very easy now what about if you have a scalar multiple if you have k a dot b this is the same as k a dot vector b and this is the same as a dot we have k b so these are the properties of the dot product which we'll be using over here now so we have vector x dot vector y is equal to y x and y are perpendicular now what is vector x we have it to be 3p plus 5q plus 7r dot what is a vector y we have 2p plus 3q minus 5r and this is equal to zero now what do we take we take 3p we multiply through using the dot product so we have 3p dot we have 2p plus 3q minus 5r plus 5q now we have dot 2p plus 3q minus 5r and then lastly we have 7r vector let's underline it dot now that will be 2p plus 3q minus 5r and this is equal to zero now the first one we have three times two that is six so this implies we have six p we shouldn't forget we are going to get p squared so this is the same as vector okay let me so this is the same as six p dot p plus nine p dot q why nine p three times three nine and then p dot p that p dot q that is pq and then we have minus now when you expand this this is giving us 15 p dot r so negative 15 p dot r now let's come to the 5q so the 5q 5 times 2 
So that will be plus 10 Q dot P plus 15 Q dot Q and then 5 times 5 that's negative 25 and then we have Q dot R now let's consider the last one last one we have plus 14 um, R dot P and then we have um, 7 times 3 that's 21 21 R dot Q and then 7 times 5 that's 35 so negative 35 and then we have R dot R R dot R now we knew that P from the properties P dot P A dot P was um, the magnitude of A squared so this is the same as 6 and then we have magnitude of P square now this is giving us look at this 9 pq so plus we have 9 pq p dot q now q dot p p dot q are the same are the same why um, dot product is commutative so this is the same as plus 10 p dot q it's the same thing so we are done with that pq pq now 15 p dot r so we have minus 15 p dot r p dot r do you have any other p dot r do you have any other p r dot p by the same as p dot r why is commutative so 14 p dot r 14 p dot r now we have our qp the same as pq okay and then we have 15 Q, and here will be Q square, Q dot Q, that is Q square. Um, what again? What again? Okay. We have R dot Q, R dot Q, Q dot R. So here we have minus 25 Q dot R, and then plus this one is that is 21 r dot q divided by 35 we have root r square and this is this should be equal to zero now this is the same as six we have p square now 9 pq 10 pq that is plus 20, 19 19 p dot q now Let's see, negative 15p dot r plus 14p dot r. And this is just negative p dot r. And then, what again? We have plus 15q square. 15q square. Now, p, q dot r, r dot q, because it is commutative, this, this, this is the same as that. So, that will be negative 4 q dot r or r dot q is the same thing and then minus 35 magnitude of r all square now we have been told that p q and r are mutually exclusive which are mutually perpendicular p q and r are mutually perpendicular hence p dot q is zero p dot r is zero. q dot r is also zero so you have 6 square plus 19. Now this will be 0. So multiply by 0. Minus 0 plus 15k square minus 4 times 0 minus 35r vector r all square equal to 0. Why? They are mutually perpendicular. So what do you have? You have 6p square and then plus 15 q magnitude square and then minus 35 magnitude r all square equal to zero now what again will we be given magnitude of q is three 
So we're given that magnitude of Q is 3. And then magnitude of R is equal to square root of 5.4. So when we substitute, we are going to get 6P squared plus 15. What is our Q? Our Q is 3. So you have 3 squared minus 35 times square root of 5.4 all squared because 5.4 square root of r is 5.4 so 5.4 square that's what we have over there now this will cancel this we shouldn't forget this is equal to zero so we have 6 p square plus now 15 this is 9 so that will be 135 minus now let's see 35 this would be um, 5.4 because the square will cancel the square root so 35 times 5.4 and this is just 189 and this is equal to zero so what do you have we have 6 magnitude of p square and then this would be minus 54 equal to zero 135 minus 189 that is 54 so from here, we have, that is 6P all square equal to 54. We can divide through by 6, and then we have P square, money of P square equal to 9. When you divide both sides by 6. Now, we can make the exponent the same, which is 3 square. So from here, you can see that magnitude of P is just equal to three yeah that is very trivial don't forget to subscribe and then also make sure you share the links also with your friends the book you are seeing on the screen get a copy for yourself